Hey everyone, this is Anna and thanks so much for visiting my channel today. I'm going to be sharing you how to assemble the um, pencil treat box um, that I designed for Impression Obsession. Um, I mentioned it in the video that I did last night that's called um, Shop My Valentine Stash and uh, so I thought I would share the process. Um, I always have these little holiday pencils on hand. Um, I have these for Valentine's Day, I have some for Easter, Christmas, um, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, you name it, I've probably got it. Um, and if you don't have these on hand, the process um, and the treat uh, box will also work uh, for regular pencils as well, which I'll show you. So I've gone ahead and chosen some pencils from uh, my little collection here to use. And uh, I've gone ahead and also chosen some papers that uh, will coordinate nicely with the pencils that I've chosen. And from the uh, uh, Valentine um, cardstock pad. I've chosen a couple different pink papers and then I've also chosen a couple of printed papers from this Valentine um, 6x6 here from American Crafts and um, I am also going to be using the um, Impression Obsession pencil box die. So this is a seven piece die set that comes with the box itself that comes with some predefined score lines for you. And it comes with two layering pieces. You can choose to use them both on your project or you can choose just one or, ne or neither. Um, this one here um, is a layering piece for the uh, side that has the straight top. And this is a layering piece for the side that has the V cut and the top. And then it also comes with this four piece little pencil that you can assemble together and use it as an embellishment. So let me go ahead and show you some samples of ones that I've made in the past. Uh, here's one that I created for Easter. Um, you can see that it holds four little pencils here and I just decorated it on top with this cute little colored uh, bunny rabbit from High Hopes Rubber Stamps. So there's that one. Um, here's one that I made for Halloween. And again, you can see that it holds four pencils just fine. Um, this is another image from High Hopes Rubber Stamps. Um, here's one that I made using an image from Whippersnapper Designs, also for Halloween. So um, really cute, really easy. And then when I package these to give them away, um, I will also tend to buy these little packages of erasers that coordinate with the holiday pencils. And so what I'll do is I will find these little clear bags. Uh, you can use the pencil wrap or the um, pretzel stick wraps that you can get from Wilton um, for holiday uh, baking and put them in here. And then I also will add that little eraser down here at the bottom, or you can even put it on the back side. Or you can use uh, these, which fit perfectly. Um, these are from clearbags.com and they are the BM5 uh, envelope and they have the little self-adhesive strip so you just slip the pencil in and tear off the little adhesive protective covering and then it seals right up so these are perfect for these little pencil bags or pencil boxes so let me go ahead and show you um, how to assemble um, i'm going to use this clear ruler to fold on my score lines um, just so that i can get a nice crisp edge um, uh, on the folding process so I just lay my ruler down and you can see the score line. You may not be able to see it on camera, but I can see it here at my desk. Um, I just lay the ruler down and fold against. Um, so it just gives me a nice area to press against on that score line. And then I lay the ruler on the next score line and fold the cardstock. And then I do um, to the next line. And if you were using a slightly thinner cardstock, you probably wouldn't have to use the ruler to fold against, but I just like that it gives me a nice um, edge to press against. So there's that, so that's pretty easy. So far, so good. So what you've created um, basically is the uh, either the front or the back and uh, the adhesive strip that holds the box together um, the lengthwise, two sides, and then the, another front. So let me go ahead and clean up this fold line here. There we go. Okay, 
So for adhesive, um, you can use um, you can use a wet glue. You can use quarter or eighth inch um, double sided sticky tape. Um, for today, I'm just going to use um, the sticky. You can also use hot glue if you'd like. If you're quick and you're careful, I'm going to use um, a couple of different adhesives. I'm going to use this quarter inch sticky strip for the side here. And I'm actually gonna put it on this side over here. And then once you have that adhesive in place, just trim off any that's sticking out the side here. And pull off this little strip. And then you just adhere the other side uh, right down in place there. Give it a good little press. And your box is almost done. It's super easy. Um, so then you just push in, push in the little bottom tabs here. Um, fold over one of the tabs and decide if you want the front of your um, box to have the uh, straight edge or if you want it to have the V edge. And what I like to do then is fold whichever one I have um, at the top, I like to fold that tab back. So I'm gonna have the uh, V edge as the front of my box. I'm just gonna fold this tab towards the back. It doesn't really matter, it just makes it a little bit cleaner looking. Um, so see if you were to have this, uh, the straight side is your front here and this tab would be folded forward. It just doesn't look as quite as nice. So give it a good little pinch and then I'm just gonna um, quickly drop in some hot glue here, just a little smidge, and then pinch that down. And just be very careful if you're using hot glue. And then I just catch the extra off. Kind of smushes out there. And now your box is uh, assembled, super easy. Then all you have to do is take uh, the layering pieces that you've created for the uh, box, and you can uh, either layer just one on the front, you could layer one on the front and on the back. Um, or if this was your front, you could just use this one here. So I'll go ahead and put them on both sides. And I like using uh, just a wet white glue liquid glue for this process. It gives you enough uh, working room that you can wiggle it around for a little bit and get it centered. Uh, just so. And I've made so many of these little pencil sets and I just love that this die um, takes all the measuring out of the process. It just makes the creation of these little um, treat pencil treats really fast and enjoyable to make. All right, so there we have our first little assembled pencil box. So I'll go ahead and just choose uh, four of my pencils here and just slide them in. I'll put this other little white one over here. So see, they fit in there just perfect. I'll show you how the uh, yellow pencils fit also. So if you don't actually have uh, the holiday pencils on hand, you can just use regular pencils as well. And that's also really cute. So I'm gonna pop my Valentine's ones back inside there. And if you want to, you can, um, if you used a white glue down here at the bottom, you can, with the pencils in here, uh, you can give it a nice little press down and that'll make that adhesive down there at the bottom uh, nice and secure. So I'll go ahead and assemble the little pencil here. Uh, the pencil does come with a little score line here at the bottom. Um, so you can color the uh, lead. And I just have cut this out of a uh, craft colored cardstock and just use a marker to color right up to that score line there. And just take a little bit of uh, adhesive and you can make your pencil lead as long as you would like. Oops, flip that right over there. As long as you would like. And adhere that right to the back. 
a good little press down. Yeah, it's pretty cute little embellishment. And then I like to adhere the uh, eraser to the top of the pencil. Next. And then you can use this um, little piece here as embellishment for the top. You just place that right over there. There. And it just creates this cute little embellishment that you can use. Um, you can also die cut this out of yellow or um, you know plain cardstock, and you can use it to uh, you know stamp. The name of the person you're gifting it to. You can punch a hole here in the eraser and use it as a little hang tag. So all kinds of things that you can do with this little embellishment. I'll just go ahead and set that over to the side and I'll show you how to assemble the next one. <laughs> 